music, and it's completely music? silent because it's completely set up wrong. Did you guys catch what they were talking about with the sticks? There's actually a chest with a couple, like a stick or two in here, just to be able to run around and chase a stick or beat each other with. Mm -hmm. So that's what Sil was asking. Can can we sumo with the sticks? That would be Kendo. Yes! So if everybody's on and ready, we can start the sumo. Well, I'm not quite ready yet. But if you guys gotta start, okay. you got to. Let me know, because I was doing all sorts of crap. Uh, compass. Bam. Come on, Minecraft. Don't be poopy. Oh, should get my compass. Okay, good. I think. Get rid of the big okay. arm. Double check that I don't have that muted because I'm a derp sometimes when it comes to that. No, good. We're not muted. Excellent science. Alright, I'm all live and set. Yeah. They're asking if you're ready. I think Dyer and Dude, you're not quite yet. Oh, I'm ready. My body's ready. And Sumo's already about to happen. Oh, Etho Sumo's versus Chris the Noob. Etho again being the Sumo wearer. Yeah, straight out. Compatible thing. He didn't so even touch the water. Work. Well, you can go back to the other version, and uh, the did work. There's, there's not, you know, that many significant things that are going to be. Traders asking where to get the song. Um, MRK, MRK, MRK. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't know I could do that. Okay, that'll be yeah, good so to go. Just check back to with the other one, and just use that one. All right, looks like PMA has uh, chosen. Red. Right. Red. That's good. That's good. And PME stands for Professional Minecraft, Minecraft. Engineers. Yes. Which is very long. And perhaps they didn't choose right. They chose left and they just switched them around. That is actually... No, they did. They chose right. They're over there. Okay. Let's see. Huh! There we go. Uh, if you have the new version, F6. you can... F6, yes! So it all lines up on the same side of things. Very Let nice. me know how audio balance is, people. PME's on the right. It didn't matter so much on Twisted Desert because everything was... There was no real left and right sort of facing. But with this one, it does. Alright, now I'm live. Oh! Alright, I think I'm okay. Awesome, they're they're ready. We're all ready. Are you ready, Dyer? And I am now recording on Fraps. Oh, match is gonna so start. So this should be good. And pause is gonna hurl. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. That's not good. Blame Disco versus Professional Minecraft Engineers. Yes, first round of qualifying round B, first match. Now which Our... lens did they choose? PME is right on the red, and Blame Disco is blue on the left. Awesome. Oh, I see the Seth Blink skin out. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they all sort of hung around to loot the starting chests. Yeah. PME slightly... Oh! They both kind of dropped at the same time. Seth did catch oh, nice. the middle to uh, the waterfall to hop right in. And Watched uh, Demon Max uh, make a jump, not for the waterfall, but for the vines to catch them and use them to climb back up. Right. Oh. The idea with this is not to have the direct fire locked down. You have mm -hmm. other options to get past. Now, Blame Disco did a better job of lighting up their start area. Oh, definitely. Looks I would like say uh, it looks like, looks like Demon Mix is making the furthest push forward we've seen so far over for the uh, PME. Chris the Noob seems to be gathering supplies. And PME, they did decide to go ahead and go on to care of it. They made their... They made a bridge. Everybody on Blame Disco just ended up hopping across 
but they did hang back on PME to make a complete bridge. That could come in handy later. Watching Seth Blaine climb the mountain right now. Using a, a number of ladders. Do they start out with ladders on this map? There are ladders provided in various nice. places. Yes, very interesting choices on this map, which is of course by Avery or Graham, depending on how you know him. Chris the Noob and YYY are down here at the lowest level in the initial area. They're trying to, looks like they're looking for arrow fights, not really getting anybody to shoot yet. Yeah, it looks like both teams are trying to get to their resources as fast as yeah, you know, Demon, humanly possible. I think Demon X may be trying to build a cannon. He's built a trough. There are a lot of interesting places for cannons in this map. This and, is a pretty dense map, too. And this cannon yeah, is right across from Blasting Supplies. Looks like Seth Bling has made a run all the way to the end of the map and is down to the Ice Cavern. Ethan once he gets to the Bedrock a... Line, he is not able to uh, build anymore. Etho had a zombie tracking him, but he got up the ladder right as the zombie got there, so he's safe. Ooh, Paws and Paws taken out by Gone52. Now, a lot of times I've seen practice on this, people have wow. reached to the end. That was quick. Uh, Seth Bling's already through the parkour course. Yeah, I was going to say, but it looks like someone's doing parkour. Oh, wow. They've got light blue. Wow. That was There's quick. of course no building here. It was and it very like quick. This is one that even worried would be locked down for a long period of time. Yeah. Yeah, and they've done no obsidianizing at all. I've, he I'm either practiced or this. I didn't see a teleport thing, so we didn't pearl over. Nope. He jumped it. He bossed it. Just very, very quickly. I mean, that, he's practiced that quite a bit. I'm hearing TNT going off though somewhere. And he's heading out. I think this might be in their plans, though. They probably want to try to lock down the other team, possibly, if they can. Uh, because this would, be, this would be a very hard one to take while underneath arrow fire. Alright, Chris the Noob is sending cannon fire. Pause on pause has survived. But he's sent in, yeah, their diamonds and their gold over here in this lower level. They've done Seth a lot of damage. taking time to pillar up using parts of the wool and parts of cobble. Yeah, I'm only seeing one diamond block left, and now it's happy with zombies. Wow. And Paws does not have any... Uh, he has one block of iron on him, but no gold. There's and another cannon about mad. to go off up here by YYY, or whatever you... Oh, now they're going for the diamond. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pop over to the uh, teams and uh, give them a listen, since it's, our, I believe, our first match in the second round, right? Yes. Nice. Ooh, too high. A little now, too long on the timing, yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing with this map is you can make an epic notch apple there's just enough gold but if even one of them i believe if even one of them is removed then you can't do it a uh, little high a little low one more shot and you should be able to get the last two blocks though seth got completely out with that and is is just looking to... looks like yyy oh. is tunneling up in fact, it looks like he came up from below. Yes, that yes. is the case. He came up around the... Uh, maybe walled it off. So he's setting it off again. There we go. We still have entities, though. A diamond block and a couple of diamond on the ground. Seth Bling shot by Gone. That's why I saw Etho has come down, and he's setting up his own cannon. Looks like he's about to cannon the parkour. Which is completely legal. Absolutely. Ooh, looks like there may have been Ooh. some creeper issues. Mutual creeper damage, yes. Ethos about to fire at the parkour course. I believe that did take out some of the ice. It took out a couple blocks, but it really... You probably wanted it to airburst to take out some of these other bits. This is going to really force them to have to get the potions or figure out a way Ooh. of obsidianizing. His cannon just blew up in his face. But it did. They, I mean, there's there's some really ridiculous, possibly even impossible jumps at this point. Yeah, they're going to have to get down to the bottom. All right, pause and cilantro recovering from that uh, double explosion. Oh, he's doing the cannon dry. That's why it keeps exploding on him. So more of a chaos, uh, non-repeatable. Well, it's repeatable because he keeps rebuilding it, but... Yeah. Not reusable. Oh, 
Demon Mix is doing another cannon. Aha! They did not die from Creeper. It was cannon. I wondered if it was. They're actually... They're, they're taking out one of their house uh, supplies. One of their initial wood houses with uh. all their supplies. They're splattered on the ground and we have a huge opening and incoming another one. We have the vertical... Ooh, TNT that's being dropped. So they're looking to pummel. They want to take out supplies, take out this hut, and so far they're doing a pretty good job of smacking anybody trying to run across. And also. this is the, the kind of intensity we were expecting to see on this map, where there's a lot of lockdown points and opportunities to right. use cannons and arrow shots. Looks like Etho is manning his uh, open perch here to work on shooting. He is in gold armor, and we are running... PME is running this. Looks like Chris the Noob is trying to uh, deal with parkour. He has fire resistance potions. He has potions of healing on him. And he has an ender pearl on him. Looks like both Paws and Sill are hanging back near that house. Not sure if they They're are intending to stick around there or to reclaim some supplies. Yeah, they were trying to make some progress when they got smacked. Chris shot off a, an ender pearl, or at least it looked like he shot an ender pearl in his hand, but he really didn't go anywhere. Ooh. He is standing here facing Etho. They're going to have to get moving if you're going to make it across this. Another potion. It looks like there's also been some cannon damage on Blame Disco's side uh, at the top of their um, mountain. Because there is a cannon up here being built. Okay. Chris the Noob for PME made it across. He is almost to the wool room right now. He had to go with the uh, iron armor and, of course, the potions. But they took care of it. He's got light wool. So we can see with our lovely auto ref uh, plug in here, we have PME and Blame Disco with the light blue wool. Of course, he's got to get out again, and this is where Etho is going to try to keep him pinned. He's getting shot at, though. Yeah, the, this team seems to be very well adept at PvP. Uh, Chris is just shooting at him. He's trying to protect his own way out. Of course, if he hits the lava, he's parkouring as much as he can. It's not the end of the world because he still has lots of potions. So, looks like PME is going to make it out with this one, no matter what Ethos tries to throw at him. Oh, he may be able to shoot him off if he gets a lucky hit. That's what he's working on. Etho, of course, has blast protection. Golden buttery goodness, chest and leggings. So Chris the noob just kind of biding his time. He does not want to waste those po- Uh, he seems to be waiting for the last second there. There we go. Yeah, he only has- he has two left. Obviously he just took another, but... If he gets in a position where he's pinned and has to come back across, that's gonna really yeah, hurt. If you look at him too- okay. Uh, he's oh. out of potions, so... Oh, and he... about to get shot off the edge there. There again. we go, and that wool did not make it out, that so they're going to have to rerun it. So although it was touched, Blame Disco actually got the wool out. PME did not. That is... This may be definitive, actually. This will buy them a lot of time if it they can will. keep that wool locked down. Gone is at the top of the mountain. Looks like he is in a heavy firefight with Cilantro, Seth, and Paws, who keep trying to come up. And as you can see, there's a whole series of death messages. Not doing so well. As far as the, the damage at the house, they've just sort of put a few blocks down, gone across, and just kept on going. Put some ladders, make their their progress up quicker. Yeah, Blame Disco has taken the brunt of the PvP uh, kills. They've died oh. eight times versus three. And Cilantro just got shot into the void lane. Not counting the blowups. Right. So PME is really working on the um, the PVP. Now Triple Y is heading down through the little PVE section in a full set of diamond armor. And I think he has regen on. I think right, regen he's got is red. Full set of diamond. He does have a swiftness potion on him. And he and does have the flint and steel, sharpness flint and steel. We'll probably see him work with that. Yeah, he's probably going to make it without much trouble. There's three creepers here, but 
I don't see them being too much of an issue. Yeah, he's trying to take the, the spawners out as he goes, which means even if he does go out, his return trip is going to be made so much easier. Oh, oh, oh. That looks like uh, Demon Mix got the yellow wool. Yes, PME has ran the yellow. And now they have red. And red! Oh, wow. Here comes Etha with another cannon. Went below the lava, so the lava's pouring out. And over the edge, not really going to affect anything besides possibly current if you swim right there. Ooh, yellow did not make it out. Etho was managed to pin him down. So they're going to have to go pick Demon that up again. Shot by Etho. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. P and me actually had all three wolves, but then lost two. Did, mm. Were they able to place yellow at all? Uh, uh, no, yellow's not placed yet. It's still over there. He only made it two turns before dying. All right. And it looks like right now Ethos trying to maybe put some hurt on this uh, parkour course, but they've already got that wolf, so it won't do them any good at well, all. Well, no, no, they didn't get it out. They didn't get it out. Oh, they didn't get it out, really? No, Etho got, uh, yeah. arrowed him while he was still in there, and it burned up. Ah, uh, this might he be their saving grace then. So close to coming out. If Etho can put the kibosh on this parkour course, then uh, that will definitely hurt them. Yeah, so they stopped. They'll have to stop well, and make more potions. They stopped both yellow and uh, the parkour wall, which is green. Right. Mm -hmm. from getting out. Right now, Etho is in the position, yeah, like you say, to watch two different wolves and try to uh, take it out, and, and being quite effective. But PME is also quite effective keeping playing Disco locked down. He's got to get a little more distance on that TNT, that's for sure. Yeah, and I don't know if he's planning to try to hit any of these ladders over here, because that could be a little useful as well. It could be. These Set. would all these TNT shots would work if they didn't keep landing in the lava and exploding right then. If they could explode just a little bit uh, sooner, it'd be okay. Seth, Paws, and Cilantro are really having a hard time getting any distance beyond this early area. And there's Paws no. shot. I mean, they are just getting so much pressure being shot at. It's it's really rough. Gone is in the PvP position up here and yeah. really doing a good job with it. Uh, Gone is running 52 back is down. dominating both Cilantro and Paws, I believe. Nice. Wow. Yeah, uh, you can hear in their voices too. They were not quite prepared. Even they said themselves they weren't quite prepared for this kind of a uh, you know uh, team coming up against them. Well, both sides, and that's the beauty of each round. Both sides. I mean, they, they're here because they want to match. They're here because they're good teams. They practiced hard, and we're going to see some incredible uh, plays. I'm thinking. Oh man, another kill by Gone Fifty Two. Oh. And Etho yeah. not quite getting the arrow shot off to Demon Mix. He was trying to get the angle to get to him, but didn't quite get him. Gone has 14 hard. kills. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's loving this moment right now. That's a great position to be up there as a sniper and have action. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I don't think, think that was a misfire cannon there. Yeah. I don't think Blame Disco has the armor to counter him. No, they got they were pretty effectively shut down. Even Seth was like, I don't think we have any more bows anymore. I think I think it was Ethu who chimed in and said, Well, there's still some at the end, right? And yes, both those uh, arrow filled towers are there at the end with full of bows and arrows. Wait, nope, they were they did make it over here for two of them, but Yeah. Uh, that's all I've got now that thing so far. That supply hut being uh taken out with the cannons was very watching Cilantro right hard. now as he makes his way through here he basically has nothing yeah this creeper might himself. take him out oh this is painful Chris the noob is working his way back down it's like he's gonna try to get into the parkour again oh wow yeah if he doesn't aren't there some I mean, supplies also, if he sort pulls of halfway it off, through though, it'd be awesome I thought there were like the Power Mancer's kid, I thought. It's way Paz further down than it. I thought. <laughs> yeah. Paz has but made it, it up over the mountain. He is trying to fire back at Gon. Demon Mix has the yellow wool again and is trying to get out. And I don't think has he's no been armor, noticed. Though. Ooh, wait. No, Etho's open and fire. Yeah, yeah, Etho definitely saw he was there. But he, should, he might store some. Yeah, he stored some in the chest yep. there. 
It's still a matter. He's still going to be exposed though when he, he goes back. He may be trying to pass he... around based on where uh... he seems to be going. Ooh, cilantro got creepered and oh no, devil creepered, and there were two zombies and a skeleton. He went really light, but yeah, he had no armor. He just got owned by the PVE. Yeah, damage oh, set up his going pass off. around. Oh, trying to go for a damaging shot. Why is YYY going for that yellow box? Uh, maybe as why. a distraction or to get a p position be. set up. They could be and trying to dislodge. Focus yeah, I think Demon is the one that slipped by with the yellow wool. It was an effective switch out, basically. Now, you can see that the wool's placed there, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, Demon's now out, basically, with this yellow wool. And now it comes down to blue wool, it sounds like, for PME. And they have someone down there. They did mention right. Ender Pearls, but it looks like they're oh yeah, but they're brewing. They're brewing up. Yep, I can see those swirlies on them now. Gotta now, go pop in the team channels again. Now, down with full blast protection, boots, legs, and chest. He also has splash potions, and he is he is out. They have successfully recovered that yellow wool out of the mountain. On top, they now have P and he has two. Ooh, Ethan almost dead. And notice his gold armor was getting pretty weak. Yeah, he's regening up, coming back out. Nope, oh, Chris is making a run for it. I see that just oh, flying through. This time, he does have things on him to make potions, but he hasn't actually made them. And the only armor he's got is a chain chest. Did he stop moving? Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. So he'd already used the one potion. He has another batch of potion for supplies. And there, I don't know how long the one he has it. He could have made it. He could have brewed like an eight-minute one or whatever it is. Alright, if they can get out with this one, then they will have all three wool. They really have to lock him down, and incoming cannon. And then they need to get to the Victory Monument, which is a little bit difficult on this map, right. because it is high up. It is. That's a whole nother process. Now, YYY is coming all the way to the end of the map and heading down. I suspect he's coming to try to get in a position to help fire back at Etho. Yeah, it looks like Chris is hanging back until Etho is pinned down again. Because all he needs is just enough time for him to try to regenerate health to make a run for it. Oh, Solancho taken out by a cave spider. Yep, YYY is in the position. He's on the bedrock and he's trying to get an angle. Ooh, that was a close hit. And... I, I think that. Chris is going to try a pass around. Is this technically... No, I don't think he can place blocks there. Ooh, shot off the edge! Ouch. So PMA has still not been able to secure the blue wall. Alright, so that they're still being held down there. Pops on... Oh, yep, shot by Gon right over the edge. Yeah, Gon has 16 PvP kills now. The, the PvP pressure on this is absolutely what we expected. With the way the map is stacked up, with the positioning and the height and the different things, this is beautiful. Let's see if he left some potions really, down here. Really, the teams right now are being pressured so much. Okay, there are two eight-minute fire-resistant potions uh, in their little brewing stand down here, so they get a couple more tries. All right, so we've got the bed set up here. Seth, they they basically just moved on from their destroyed area, made a quick little little area and are going to continue to push it. They have to combine, like you say, they have to lock them down and get a lot. Yeah, Scylla's not really advancing. I They may want to try to do what they can to get some resources. Armor. Actually, it looks Seth like they may be doing that. Ethel. I see some... He may be bringing him something, like food. Yeah, I suspect he's bringing out... He, he I saw leather go down. Himself. Yep. A whole little area here. So I think Seth changing. may have gone to get supplies. Yeah, that Etho had. And now he's crafting them. And, and I think Seth knows as well that this is the this is the point that they need to lock down. So two people oh, yeah. is better than one. 
Yep, I was just uh, pop in here and say, or ask actually, if they had gotten the blue wool out of the second dungeon. Did not. Okay, so this is their lockdown point. This is what's going to save them if they, uh, you know, given enough time, Slauncher is going to break through that, that wool dungeon. It's just a matter of time. Right, but there's still but, the other one. Keep killing things. Yeah. Unless they can feel they can get yeah. to the yellow wool uh, easily. Which I, I think we're they finally can. seeing Blame Disco finally switch into that long term mode. I think they were going for a very quick match, but they realized they were put on their heels by the other team. So now they're having oh. to switch over to a, uh, a more long term game. Was just going to check on Sil as he was killed again by a spider. But yeah, he's, he's working it. Gone is just continuing his position. He's doing nothing but harassment and racking up the kills. Mm -hmm. He's going to be, I would say, probably already at this point, he's one that got the most, uh, of, of this length of the game, most kills, I think, in 20 minutes or so. Yeah, and he's still, at 18 right now. Still took an arrow hit even before getting into the dungeon. He's already down to four hearts. If only you can make There's stone ether. armor. Arrow, uh, another cannon shot going off. Pause on pause. Looks like he may be Ugh. heading to help him, or is he... He's I'm not outside. entirely sure what Paws has been doing, other than well, being distracted. Oh, Again! He, he's been! No. He was shooting back at them, but he had no armor, and so he really wasn't uh. terribly effective. And because you're on this mountain, getting shot off is mm -hmm. so easy. You take the double damage. You get hit by the arrow, then you take that half-hearted damage or so when you fall. Yeah. It looked like he might have been coming to the middle. He's already back. I thought he might be dropping down to help Seth, maybe tag-team that dungeon. So we'll have to see what he does. Speaking of which, let's see if anyone is attempting that yet. I see Chris the Noob is in the middle uh, Obsidian Island here. Taking oh. arrows from both Seth and Etho. And Etho is actually setting up a cannon and he's Chris is throwing snowballs in defense. <laughs> <laughs> Demon actually just, I think he just shot a cannon or somebody just shot a cannon, yeah. Nicely done, there he there goes. He, he finally hit a few of those ice blocks. And he may have taken out the brewing stand. No, no. brewing stand's still there. But it's at oh, there's still one thing in it. Right now, Chris yeah. just is so sick of parkour and ice at this moment. He wants to get this thing in the bag. It's a beautiful spot that Seth or that uh, Etho is in right now. He is in a good. Uh, he's in a vulnerable spot though. He only oh oh almost went over the side. Yeah, we have seen yeah. him die in here. Uh, Seth is actually just. I think he's just. Oh, he's, oh there he goes. There nice. he goes again. Set very nice. Armor. That'll make some, that'll make them very happy. I think he's actually he's gonna join in the the firefight or take over for Etho while he's cannoning because he's armored. He was regening, but he is he had arrows whipped out. He was working on. Yeah, and I believe you only need one piece of that golden armor to be cannon fire resistant. That blast protection ten. Yeah, yeah. they shared that. It looks like he got pants. Demon Mix is setting up a cannon here. I'm not sure if it's meant to slow Sil oh, down perfect. or hit uh, Etho and Sil. Yeah, YYY and uh, Demon Mix kind of mixing. I mean, they're they're right in the same area back. But Sil is as deep oh, as he's wow. been thus far in the dungeon here. We'll say these are two guys you don't want to have cannons. <laughs> Oh man, Demon is trying so hard to get some shots on Syl, but he's he's basically out of his range at this point. It's all about the mob. Yeah, sounds like right now, um, Etho and Seth are just trying to buy time right now for Cilantro to make his way through here as best he can with his little supplies as he has. Yeah, uh, while he has I'm not sure quite sure what Paws is doing, but it sounds like he's just trying to lay down something on Gone 52 to keep them off their backs. Give him a target, that way he does not come downstairs and bother the other guys. Because if yeah, that happens, I think they will definitely be in trouble. I she was 21 PvP kills. Looks wow. Like That's an average of one every, down. what, minute and four every, seconds? Every, like, four, yeah. 50 seconds or something like that? Paws came down. He, I think he's just going to regen, but he actually seems to be going inside. I'm not sure if he's looking for a new position for sniping or if he's going to go ahead and help Cilantro with the mobs. Now, it looks like Demon over here on PME might have the idea that I was thinking is go ahead and start working on your victory run uh, ladder of ascension or whatever you're going to use because that's still going to be a, a point of contention whenever they actually get to that point uh, to place the wolves because these things are definitely hard to get to. Right, Chris the Noob is back into the lava. just jumped straight in the lava. Interesting. Ooh. 
forgot his uh, resistance. Apparently so. Ooh, he was pushing it to the last possible minute. Cilantro died, came right back down, but Paz was already there, kind of clearing the way. And Paz has almost two stacks of blocks. I'm not sure if they're going to just try to wall off, you know, some things. But they're definitely doing this in tandem now. I think Seth Bling's uh, pretty much boss run of the uh, the parkour course is what's going to save them possibly in this game. Uh, getting Whoa. that quickly and getting it back out as fast as humanly possible is really just, it's really what's going to save them, I think, if it does. Cilantro has just, like, dropped through and killed by a zombie. He took a lot of damage. He sort of fell through. There's been so much destruction here. I love the skeleton uh. here. It's fired like a dozen arrows at YYY, and they're just lodging in the, uh, <laughs> in the obsidian block here. What's funny is any one of those would have just made the difference just now. He had a heart left, but that yeah. becomes, it's more of a, a gutsy thing where you just kind of sit there. Even though I've only got a heart left, if I lay down some covering fire, maybe I can make Etho go back inside, which Etho wasn't even down to half his health. Yeah. Etho he took cover while YYY got away with, you know, half a heart. Elaborate game of chicken at some point. Who's going to get mm -hmm. first? And it's all it takes sometimes is one extra hit, one extra arrow to make a difference. Paz looks like he's running something now. He may be trying to he get supplies. He is helping Cilantro. Paz ah. and Cilantro were going down together, and they're they're there are good. so many mobs. Remember, every time Paz goes down there, he's just and Cilantro. They're just triggering more and more from those spawners. And mm -hmm. as Etho is hanging out where he is. You know, there will be some that might even be triggering from him. Oh, Paz got killed twice in a row. Oh. Ouch. Cilantro knows his Speaking path. Of, he knows uh, right where he's Chris at. made it back to the, law, the parkour section. Yep. He's yet to take his medicine yet. Oh, Cilantro finally actually, looks like oh, he might I have see. an upper hand on these mobs. He's in a high ground position. He's taking them out. Here we go. He has health. What is he waiting for? I think he's probably just waiting for health, maybe. Because he doesn't but... have the potion on it. I mean, he hasn't used it. That's not orange. Those are pink. Which is oh, he put it pink. inside of the uh, the brewing stand again. What is he doing? I find this uh, baffling, because he should be taking the potion. Yeah. That's weird. I'm going to pop into their chat and find out what's going on. Neither Despite Eva listening. or Seth have the protection armor anymore. They're both rock and leather. Well, it was blast protection armor, which is not or good versus arrows. Yeah. Cilantro's at half health, and he is continuing to work these mobs, but he's making good Demon progress. is trying to hit them with a cannon, and not getting it launched yet. Unfortunately, I, I don't know that they even have torches left, because... Cilantro is not lighting up behind him, although you can basically see the wool room if he is able to go forward like 10 more blocks. He's gotten that close. Paz does not seem to be in a hurry to get down there and join him. He's over the mountain and oh, almost to, towards that th third wool area where you go down. He's just sort of paused. I guess they're talking strategies right now. Chris Anub is gathering some coal. I'm curious if they're going to try to build some more supplies. I suspect we might see Paws over here to help give some fire. Yeah, Chris Anub is gathering iron. So he may be armoring up for his run. Oh, I see what Paws has done. Just checked his inventory. He has made a bow and arrow run. He is stocked with bows and arrows from the end. I hope he does he, not die. Yep, he's just gone back. They've also made a... Basically, they, they've tunneled in a bit so they can cut through the mountain and not have to go up and over. Ooh, a couple of creepers spawning up here to uh, save some arrow, arrow hits from gone. You know, not, might as well not be an easy target. Uh, this creeper's locked onto something. This could be very bad for boss. <laughs> Okay, it seems to be getting distracted now. Alright, Cilantro is beautiful. He's only got a couple of hearts. Oh, oh, he's triggered the blaze. And the blaze has shot him, and he's burned to death. There is one blaze spawner down here. He did trigger it. Oh, and Seth in the void lane. I'm assuming he got shot off. Chris Anub is still gathering iron. 
There are so cilantro. Good. There are some diamond blocks here as well. He hasn't gathered them though. Cilantro, dig it to a point where you can basically see the wool room. Pause on pause is decking out the little area here with supplies. And Cilantro stopping to grab a bow and stack of arrows before he carries on. Man, that creeper, I just keep expecting him to drop on Paz's head. Oh, oh, there's another one! Oh. And Paz just seemed to suicide. Probably would have been better to, to blow up, because then you would drop stuff. Yep. Hopefully this creeper doesn't see him now. <laughs> this creeper, I know! Oh, and Sil's out. It's looking at him. And this creeper is gonna do... Mm. There's the other one. Okay, the creeper's locked on to pause. And Cilantro's got a creeper on top of him over here. He... Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, Gone52 has abandoned his upper perch to try and hit uh, Cilantro on the middle deck. And maybe also take shots at Etho and Seth. Demon Mix has got uh, full diamond, well, he's got diamond chest and boots. Sorry, say without the head, but he does uh, pants. He doesn't have the head either. He's trying to shoot Seth and Etho. PME, oh, Gon's got 24. There are 27 PVE kills for PME and only 5 for Blame Disco. Mostly because Paws has been shut down so bad, or helping Cilantro. Let's see how Sil is doing here. He's gathering blocks. I do not see Gon on his perch up here, his sniper perch. YYY is up here, so let's see where Gon is. So Cilantro right now, they were just talking, and they are actually going to try to lay down some kind of cover uh, for Cilantro inside this tunnel, because Gone 52 as you guys notice, is down there now, uh, you know, wailing on him. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely come down to be a different force. Why, why, why he's still up there trying to, to keep anything up for a long he's lucky, down. he might be able to get him to hit this Endermang. That would be nice. And now, uh, they were the talking, box. though, that uh, Cilantro was like, hey guys, go ahead and start you know, replanting saplings, uh, get stuff going, because we don't want to go extinct on wood. He said even uh, even stone picks and stone swords and stuff like that would be incredibly helpful right now. Stone picks work just and, fine yeah. on netherrack, which mm -hmm. is what this is mostly made out of. Yep. Demon mix is out, yellow is fully secured for PME at this point. Ooh. They have yellow yep. and... What's been what's Paws been up to though? Because uh, Gone Fifty Two no longer just wailing on Gone Fifty Two or on Paws and Paws is uh, haven't seen him die in a while, so that Chris, means he might actually be able to do something. Chris the Noob is in full iron armor and is now at the base of the parkour section. Oh, all these creepers! Oh, 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 oh! oh. Blame Disco is hurting with yeah torches. Now all would be the, the time to shoot that TNT cannon. Just to get the middle of their of their base is being overrun with creepers and spiders. Oh, and he came out of his bed to get blown up. Paused did a run to the end of the map and got a bunch of uh, bows and arrows, Dire. Looks like Etho still has a stack and a, a more than a stack and a half of TNT left at his disposal. This map is quite liberal with TNT distribution. I'm okay Chris with that. He's making a run for it. Pausing to help shoot. Etho, I think, might be trying to set it up. I'm not sure. He might try to bait him into firing it before moving, and mm -hmm. Seth Bling is taking some hits. I look like Seth got knocked into the void earlier. Actually, Seth jumped. Oh, he gave it up. Uh, he put his stuff away and uh, jumped well, to get his it, hunger yeah, bar refilled. If, if his bed's yeah. right there, then it makes sense. It is. So right now, Etho and Seth are uh, sniping partners. Thank you. I thought someone jumped, but that was just honey. <laughs> that was just me, yes. <laughs> Quickly getting over here. Just trying to take Let's see what's going on. Now, Chris Noob still hasn't used his fire resistance potion. Does he have said any more to brew? Hmm. He has not. 
Because maybe the last fire is this potion they can get their hands on without exactly. killing some blazes in the dungeon. If hopefully they didn't and if they broke out. that, yeah. So P and me actually have yellow and red wool secure over here. They it all comes down to getting that light blue Ooh. out. Surprise TNT attack from above, exposing lots of uh, Seth or Seth and Etho down there. Not as terrible as it could have been, but still enough to make them jump backwards. It looks like. And Chris is making a run for it. He has used his potion. Demon oh, they know it. And oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 yes. Seth yes. blew up, but that was completely demon mix. Demon. <laughs> that was a good trade. Oh. I'm gonna go he listen to that response. A cannon. He's trying to do a diagonal cannon over here. Demon Mix is trying to take them out of their, yeah. out of their little. He'll eventually get it honed in. Oh, but he, if he hits the he wool did, here. He, the he's wool. He's gotta be careful. He's gotta be very careful with this wool. He did take Seth out with that first shot, but that's that's a bit of a far reach to get all the way over here. And of course, Chris coming all the way back from the beginning. I'm curious if PME has placed anything on the Victory Monument yet. I was just coming over here to look at that. They have not. I didn't see anything on the... Uh, it shows just touched. Now, PME... Of course, all they have to do is look at that. PME does have their wool in the middle of the mountain placed. And they only need the wool that Flame Disco has successfully gotten out. Seth doesn't have his armor anymore. Uh, Seth was just shot by Gon. Demon's still trying to pummel with that diagonal cannon. And he's doing oh, an okay job of it. Doing very nicely. If it wasn't for Bedrock, that would have hurt Etho tremendously. But he is also taking out the front of their fleecy box. However, the wool is in that back wall, so it's probably safe. It's possible for something to slip in there. It is. Cilantro is once again to the point where he can see the fleecy box. Has Man, very I don't basics. think he's gonna make it. Yeah, again, he just has that bow. Looks like he did take care of that blaze, though. Backing off to regen, he's got this far. That's pretty much all you can do. They really desperately need torches, and I, I think they just lost them all. Because the thing is, is he keeps having mobs spawn where he've already he's already cleared and having to re-kill and re-go. Definitely enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Could use a bit more PvP. Yeah, just, saying. just a touch. Yeah. If I had my wish. And as I'd say that, I'd DP over to Paws, who is <laughs> frantically jumping and shooting. Yes, and he took out Y. Is that Paws' first PvP? No, third. Oh, man. So, they've got Cilantro going on his own. Looks like Paws is just trying to put the pressure on them. Chris Noob has managed to get some more blaze powder and has some water bottles. Looks like he may be trying to brew up some more goodies. And YYY is still the one up top. They're keeping gone down below. Oh, Chris the Noob hit the ground too hard. Yep, he's back to nothing. Cilantro taken out by a zombie. Yeah, Paz hey. is being reasonably nullified right here. They have him pinned down with that cannon. The armor, I mean... Yeah, one good hit with that amount of TNT could take him out. I mean, pa or he keeps digging back there, but... Honestly, if I were Cilantro, I'd be so tempted right now to just go down there with that PvE with some... Armed with some TNT and just try to help clear it. It's, it's so ugly down there. They definitely need to light, get some torches, and, and be able to make the push more effectively. I 
Did Seth fall back to try and take out the cannon? Seth is back in the early, in the beginning area, yeah. I don't... Well, it wouldn't matter if he died, because his bed was here, so yeah, he must have intentionally moved. Cilantro has built up a lovely fortification wall of stone, netherrack, and snow blocks. Actually, Seth is digging through the mountain. Oh, you got an hour and 20 minutes. No problem. Yeah, Arthur Blues. No problem. Hour and 20. Right there on it to answer. He is... Oh, uh, they're looking to cut through completely and not have to go up and down. Yeah, that could be good. That could be great for them, especially if they can... Yeah. <laughs> Demon Meg, should I go grab some snacks? Yeah. Go for it. We'll... we'll... No problem. Nom, Cheetos. Eat the blue up. He Finally managed him. to get him. You know, right there, that was a moment that Demon Mix was like, yes! Fortunately, Finally. he's gonna spawn right there. He only has 13 TNT left, too. Yeah. So he cannot yeah. keep that going for very long. Was Etho managed? Did he manage to get his armor back? No, and he, he just made a sprint out here, unless he's got it on him. It's also possible those supplies got destroyed. Etho has no armor on his in, in his inventory right now. And he's not wearing anything either. Chris the Noob is brewing more fire resistance potions. In a safer area this time. I think he's so heading down to run for it now that uh, Etho has been pinned down. Cilantro, once again, physically can see the fleecy box from where he's at. He's shooting, falling back. He has Chris is making health. a run for it. There's no one to oppose oh, him right now. Pressure. Yes. Etho sees him, but does he have the uh, does he have the goods? Cilantro having to every two steps forward, he got to take five steps back again. But he's keeping his health good. He's just trying to work through one mob at a time. I think the only yeah, he's got he got a spider and a pigman left for, for spawners. I think he's going to be okay. Ooh, Etho just blew Ooh. up while he was trying to get Chris. So Chris may be able to make a run for it. Why still on top? Oh, and Cilantro taken out by a spider. Oh! Oh! So close. oh, oh. This is... <laughs> This Chris what? guy has to be Whatever. raging. <laughs> Seriously. It's like literally every time he gets there. I think he's and waiting for another cannon shot. I think he, actually he may be out of cannon uh, supplies now. And ironically, Ethos side has been obsidianized. Okay, with Demon the has. Fire. This is Demon's last shot. And he doesn't get Ethos, so he's gonna have to abandon that cannon, or go get more supplies. Oh, wow, this has just gotten so intense. This is total double rainbow right here. Etho. Oh, taken out, gone, got him. He poked his head out just in time. This is your moment. Chris is running. He is getting in there. Question is, is Etho going to be able to peg him? Yeah, he's already firing back. Oh, and Etho immediately taken out oh. by Demon. They have three people on Etho right now. Yeah, the, the, he can't shoot it anymore with the cannon, so he's just going to shoot him directly. He's moved over a bit on the other side of his cannon, and they are just trying to pin him. They know this is all they need to get out. What is this, the third time poor, uh, <laughs> poor Chris? I think it might him. be the fourth. Now, he keeps trying to... Okay, they're, that's what they're going to do. They're going to pass around here. Because he was trying to jump up one block earlier, and that's not going to work because it'll not let him place blocks there. So he is trying to do a pass around beyond yeah. the bedrock. And he keeps he keeps giving up. Or maybe, maybe it doesn't count there. <gasps> that's why he jumped. Oh. Do I know you saw that? I totally yes. saw that. Oh, that was such a... Oh, that's... Yeah. Now, are He's they doing in there? Himself. Are they trying to break that, or... And it's uh, not breaking? I was listening to them, but I saw him make that bad jump. 
That was just a, a quick jump he thought he could make, and he just didn't. From bedrock to the smooth stone right there. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be the, the fourth, fifth, sixth time of doing that. Can't do pass right at third. He was trying to break... Yeah, that it didn't block. seem to break, so I'm not sure if it's a. I think uh, they might have protected it because I, I don't know what the I don't know what that is. Well, they're trying to protect the bedrock area. It could be that it's one block mystifying could be. or something. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll ask off there or something like that. We'll find out. Well, remember, this is an unusual shape to try to re you know, enforce mm -hmm. the no build rules, and since it was no building or breaking blocks, you know, beyond that bedrock that one little corner and again this is why it's available for testing and from doing your you know your strategies on with the auto ref it's all fully yep. available so I couldn't break it and just made a bad jump to try to get on with it yeah I think they'll investigate it but uh, that's that's why they these servers they have servers set up ready for this to do uh, yeah, this, uh, that's why they encourage people to actually use these servers to practice on, just in case they do find things like that. That way the, right. the exact rule set advance. used is available and testable. And exactly. we actually did two full, two or three full scrimmages with people playing and yep. trying to, uh, to just try to make it happen. Oh, cilantro rushing down he to where he He is was. making progress, though. He yeah, keeps getting to the same spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they need torches. They've got to light up because he just keeps respawning baddies right here in the dark. It sounds like uh, Paws has basically just been working on getting those supplies, and that just means he's exposed a bunch. So that's why we're seeing him die a ton. I uh, went up there and checked out the supply boxes they have available, and he's done a really good job of getting stuff together on a very little budget. Yeah, he's been running and, and gathering. Looks like Seth is all the way at the beginning, too. Looks like YYY is trying to make a run through the lava right now at the second wool, the blue wool dungeon. Uh, trying to take his time, but he's bound to get pegged. Yep, pegged once by Etho. Twice. Once, twice. Come on. There we go. Oh, Chris dominating pause. He paused. Three times a lady. I don't want to, I wanted to say that. <laughs> Are you saying pause is a lady now? <laughs> No, no, no. In the why, why, why? It was once, twice, and three times later. That last one was like, getting hit, killed by by Ethel. I mean, I don't know why I reference hair. really. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know who okay. sung that song. I, I just I felt I need to do it. Oh man, I. <laughs> I want to say Lionel Richie, but <laughs> the uh... no, it's not. Oh my goodness. It looks now like why, why, why might be trying now to you're do about the. It. Uh... The... Rogers? They are oh going to run out of armor. Like, that's something Seth said whenever they first started uh, getting that real hard hit back was that, you know, they only have so much armor, they only have so much stuff, too. We can whittle them down. I, I find it interesting that they didn't try to do a counter cannon to take out their supply hut because yeah. they've gone back there a lot. Yeah, that would be the ideal thing to do right now. I think most of their TNT, though, is at the base of that uh, mountain, though, with Etho. So it's going to be real hard for them to get it back without a bunch of ladders, basically. So much of both of the teams are right there at that front of the mountain area. Cilantro making another push. Looks like YYY is thinking of making a run on the... I'm fairly sure Paz is getting sick of that. But he only ever goes more than like... He goes deaths. three feet and dies. Three feet and then dies. Oh. Poor guy. He's going to know this one hillside very, very well. Alright, Cilantro once again, back at the same spot, on the obsidian, fighting his way through. Can see the victory monument. Mm-hmm. You can you taste it. Yeah, he just keeps getting to here. He keep, and he's playing safe. He's backing up. He's oh. shooting. Watching Gone 52, he's just dodging the arrows coming back from pause, like just literally sidestepping him. It's it's really impressive. Sil has died Bobby. 31 times. Pause has died 34. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that hurts. Gon has plenty of arrows. He has uh, three and a half stacks, basically. YYY is waiting down here. I'm not sure what opportunity he's waiting for. Maybe for the next Etho death. Yeah. Which he may be coming Gon soon. Swapped. Yeah. Gon's back up top. Yeah, he was waiting for Etho to die. 
course. He's trying to run it. And Seth it. keeps entering the void lane. I'm not sure if he's getting shot off or if he's somehow teleporting around. Yeah, he could be setting up things and then... Uh, he, we've seen him before where he likes to jump in to reset the... Come on, cilantro. Okay. He is right there. No. Tri triple creepered. Oh, wow. He survived that. Do they have somebody else running the ice parkour? Yes, they do. Yeah, it's why oh, Nice, he's gotten out the next uh, yeah. spawner. So Chris next, has said, uh, let me shoot him. Yeah, I think he's waiting oh, he's for... He thought to die again before trying to move. Another he's spawner crouching. down. Slauncher's to the box almost. This could be the perfect moment for the team to say, hey, you know what? I'm too frustrated with this swap. And that that's a good call. Mm-hmm. Here yes! Cilantro. Yes, cilantro! Breaking into the wool box. I am so happy he made that. Blake there we Disco go. has red wool. Yboi is getting unopposed on his move here. I don't know if Etho has... <gasps> Aw. Lava. He touched the lava, or spark bounced off the lava. He poofed. But the, I mean, the... Wool is not affected. It's in a puddle here. But he's got to get back down to collect it. Seth has an axe, a stone axe, and a stone sword. He may be, and they are, they do have uh, saplings planted. Checking on the monument. Why, why, why is reaching the wool again? Or, well, the first time for him, but. Oh, lovely. We do have a creeper on the PME monument. They're actually starting to get a little low on wool. <laughs> oh, no. They've got maybe. If they keep pulling six, they have uh, uh, five more attempts. Oh, we have commentators! PME are commenting. Nice, smart. You guys are moving the arrows. <laughs> Nothing like taking a moment to uh, just chat cross team. Etho did get shot by Demon, and of course, Y is running for it. Ooh, that was a really good hit. If he can get one more off. He's so. Oh, he's so close. Two and a half hearts. Lava is so slow to go through. Oh, oh that's, that's it. That's it. I'm going to go grab some water from the other room. <laughs> okay. Currently it's 53 minutes and 55 seconds. Pause and... Pause, Etho, and Seth are all in this same position. They are, they are that intent on locking down this wall. Cilantro has recovered his wool. They are going to protect him at all cost. Chris the Noob coming through. Not really. Yep, there, there they go. Chris the Noob shooting. They're going to have to brew up some more uh, fire resistance potions. <laughs> Graham's, of course, the map maker. If you're watching this right now, I dislike you. Oh no. Alright, Cilantro has recovered his wool, and Chris is trying to get up and help shoot. He's gone. They gotta, he's got to make a push right now. Oh, I was probably not realizing that Gramps is... Uh, I think he's just <laughs> trolling. Oh, of course the name. Yeah, probably. Oh, Cilantro may have a creeper. Uh, no, he seems to be... Oh, wait, there he goes. As he gets out, as he gets out, yeah. Hopefully he's... Oh, arrows from behind, he got him. Creeper's in the front. Creeper's in the front, party in the back. Oh, nice! Demon makes shot by paws on paws. Oh, and here comes a spider to join the party. Right now, Cilantro has got to be so sick of mobs. I'm surprised he hasn't placed any... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, kind of holding the breath there. Let's go. Because they almost have this secured. Uh, then they just need to run yellow, which I yeah, think they, they can do yellow. without much uh, 
contest. Actually, no, that's still pretty contestable. There is another creeper. Sawancho putting a few more things down. He is tracking him. Well, someone's Blew up, but it. he's good. All right. Well, the first step of trying to get back in this game has been done. They have two wolves each. Gone up to 32 player kills. Seth Bling and Cilantro are the only ones who don't have any actual credit for killing anybody else, but obviously they have been running things and not focusing on that. Even though Seth didn't get credit for any of the kills when he was helping uh, Etho, you're still shooting, you're still causing them to run, be a distraction, etc. YYY is carrying blaze powder. Looks like he's getting set up to brew some more fire resistance potions. Which suggests that he may be running that, uh, the yellow... Wait, is it yellow? Uh, Blue. Yes. Blue old again. Seth is... I see him near <laughs> Diamond. Yes. He's dressed up in fishnets. He's got and fishnets one of those uh, at the top. pantyhose on his face. Oh! There were no diamonds in his inventory before he popped. I'm thinking he may have placed them in his chest. Or he may not have been able to mine them because of lack of iron. Yeah, yeah. he may not have got it. Because there is iron around here too. He may be trying to get that before grabbing the diamond. Because it is sort of required. Yeah. And Paws has joined Has's Etho. Seth found a creeper. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. It's interesting to see what Syl does now. Is he going to run the uh, yellow wool, is it? Yeah, yellow. That is exactly what I was wondering. Are they going to keep, basically... Now, Seth broke off, but all three of them at one point were in the same little cubby hole with Etho. Now, just working on one, he's gathering snow, and is he doing it with a shovel? No, he's just breaking the blocks. Plenty of time. They've <laughs> got an hour. When you're, when you're in this kind of high stress situation, every every minute seems like an hour. Yeah, and you really you you can lose track of time. They just know that this game has gone on forever, but there's still time. Looks like Sill's trying to tunnel over to the start of the yellow section. Oh, refs poking them. Some of us have jobs in the morning. Chop chop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just blame Disco. Tell that's your boss, man. I was doing a race for the wool! Let's see. Gone and... No, no, no. Why, why, why is moving on? So he's probably going back to try... Yeah, he's almost at the end. He's going back to try to get there light blue parkour wool. He is in full leather, and that's it. Yeah, they already picked up their iron, so they may be low on supplies as well. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot on him. He's got a regen potion, some bits to make a potion, and one spruce wood. That spruce is important. <laughs> All of these... Derpy little squid in every little single block are just killing me. It looks like YYY is heading down. He keeps turning around like he changes his mind. Suddenly realizing that he doesn't have... Oh, I think he was waiting for potions to brew. Alright, Kristenib has like one and a quarter stacks of arrows and the bow. Still working on the... His <laughs> most bow's broken, yeah. Still working on the... Uh cubby here with Etho and Paw. Demon Mix seems to be getting into a, a different positioning to try to get the angle. Seth is right back down here and getting... That's why Demon Mix moved. He wanted to be able to be in a position to cover Seth as he came down. Still no iron pick, but he's right back at this area. I'm curious if they are going to travel and do a bit of a dig. 
I see three awkward potions. <laughs> Alright. We have ourselves quite the lockdown. But it's really it's really been incredible. Blame Disco has secured red and blue. PME have secured red and yellow. Both have touched, you know, both have, well, actually, I guess not both have touched. Blame Disco has not touched their yellow wool. PME has touched their light blue multiple times, but has not been able to bring it home. Looks like Sil is finally approaching the way down to yellow, but both gone, the um, MVP of the match as far as kills go. And I think YYY are sticking back to shoot at him whenever he sticks his face out. I don't think he's going to be able to run it without uh, well-armored arrow support from above. Seth has just suicided. He dropped all of his stuff off. He kind of broke the block behind here. He did get two iron ore and some cobblestone. Cilantro is digging through snow. And they don't seem to be attempting... Uh, PME doesn't seem to be attempting the blue wool again. Ah, oh, they're, they're cutting through. He's back at their mountain. Yeah, they're making a fairly yeah. safe uh, path yeah, through. Yeah, just working through his uh, the path. Seth's back at the beginning, helping to shoot. Looked like he was just moving to give some cover fire. Why, why, why? At it again. We have not actually it comes down to one wool each. Opposite wools. We've not seen any real break in the armor situation. Etho getting revenge. Or as Balloonicorn Time would say, Etho is no longer best friends <laughs> with Chris the Noob. <laughs> with Chris the Noob. I'm curious if Etho dropped off the ooh the chain armor at a point where Cilantro would want to be able to grab it because he's left that in the chest there and just left. Yeah, since this might take a while, we might want to go over where all the wolves were slash are to fill in time. <laughs> the blue wool we're talking about is in this parkour section, which on both sides is is neither parkourable or much of a section. Yeah, really. Uh, Seth made it through the, to the blue wool on his first attempt, and he left a high. He left a message in there. It says hi. Did he seriously? <laughs> yes. Oh, I am. Uh, I saw him go in to get it, but I didn't actually go in. Oh, that is beautiful. Hi. The yellow That's wool beautiful. is in this. Uh, thin uh, bedrock area. You have to go around. There are a couple little refuges. Or ref refuges? Is that the right term there? Yes, I think it would be. Yes. There I are a couple places be. at which to seek refuge. and uh, But for the most part, it's one wide, so you very are very exposed. vulnerable to fire. And then there is the right. mostly PvE section, which is uh, be uh, not bedrock, um, Netherrack, Netherrack and Obsidian, full of nasty things. Lots of nasty things. And everything is enclosed in this beautiful mountain, Mountain Mayhem, by Gramps, otherwise known as Avery, depending on how you know him in the community, part of the Team Cock Blockers. And this is absolutely phenomenal that we are an hour and a half. And, you know, I kind of glanced over at my stream, and there are some people debating celebrity teams and things like that. Um, honestly, I don't think anybody has a right to say whoever wins this didn't win it absolutely by the sweat of their brow, no matter how many subs they may or may not have. This has been a hard-fought fight. Definitely. If PME gets it, you know, no fanboy rage, they want it legit hard. And if Blame Disco gets it, don't anybody say, oh, well, they were just an MIT team. They have definitely earned PME their place. has 72 PvP kills, not counting the TNT hits. Yeah. Versus Blame Disco's 
what is that, 15, 16? That's 16. And that, that is really the difference right now. And that and armor. PME is in such a better place with armor. Oh, Cilantro is... He's got these two guys bearing down on him, and he's got to get down these ladders. He's going to need... Uh, so he's going to need support here, or he's just going to have to hope he gets through. So just listening to the uh, PME team, they just said they're gearing up for another push on that blue wool. They have diamond arm or iron armor almost ready to go for it. And uh, they said literally this is our last push for it. Their last, uh, you know, able to go for it kind of move. Um, not necessarily. I mean, they can kill That's blazes. That's what they said. They have, they have so plenty of wool left. The marbles. They're, they're planning on this being the push then. Yeah. Okay. Sparta. Either this is the, the push of all pushes or they are able to make more potions. Do we know if they can or can't? Well, there are blazes around, so they should be able to continually uh, harvest the... It's blaze powder, right? It's blaze powder. Unless so. they have... Well, I, I'm thinking even the magma cream, too. Um, unless they have taken out their blaze spawner. Maybe. Or they may be limited on nether wart. I'm not sure if there's a sustainable That's supply of that too. around. That's true. You only get a little bit because you wait in this version. Can you grow it above? Uh, th grow it out. You should be able to. About. Do. Okay. But do they have any to do so with? Yeah. I mean, I oh. guess they may be able to shoot TNT at their own, or maybe somehow light up their blocks to spill water over. I am not seeing did a blaze spawner inside this last cavern. If that's where it's supposed to be, I think. Did you guys catch that? Etho is <laughs> killed by <laughs> paws. <laughs> And the deepest like, <laughs> wow. Oh. So obviously a little bit of, uh, you know, head got in the way, bobbing and weaving. <laughs> so um, there was a little friendly fire incidental damage there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Cilantro is being pinned so bad. Yeah, he is going to need to have support up there to take out at least gone, if not gone and why, why, why. And both these guys are, I mean, they are just... Gone only has down. a stack and a half of arrows left. But the armor, the armor difference. Cilantro ran that dungeon oh, wait, there's multiple arrows times. Behind. Totally commando. Buck naked. Running in again. Paws yeah. is, has been fighting totally again. Commando just shooting. And that is really, really hard. Now, if Cilantro can get some diamond armor, he may be able to get through. And that may be what Seth is trying to do, but is... Actually, where is Seth? In fact, I think... I was just thinking that. I think Etho is also... Yeah. All of... Seth is building up of... to the victory monument. I think it's because it's uncontested and he... What? Might as well. All of... Blame Disco are armorless and have been running armorless for some time. And he's making this... sure this is well protected from at least two sides, and he may do a third side at the end. And he's doing this uncontested. So... It, it could be he's intending to stick around up here. And keep... It looks like uh, Demo is, uh, is... They're going to desperate measures, I think. They're going for zombie drops. Now, I believe the rules still state that whoever has more wolves on the monument by the time time is up. Mm -hmm. So right. that may be their plan here to keep them off of... Actually, even if they do get the yellow wool, it's all, all that matters is what's on the monument. Or not the yellow, right. the uh, blue wool. That is possible. Seth may be looking to move their wolves to the monument to at least have the two up there. Interesting, they... You, I've seen all sorts of things. Half expected to see an Icarus cannon or something to get up here. They're really going for a slow safe, you know, protected route, which is really smart at this point. Now, I think PMA, PME is almost entirely or completely out of TNT. So this is safe from TNT stuff. And he's getting shot at now, but from where? Now, he does not have any of the wolves on him, so he just made a, a run not risking anything. If that was gone, pausing to shoot at him, that could be what they what Seth need, or cilantro needs to get free. That's a really yeah. long shot. I mean, I can't even see that from here. I think uh, Chris and Numa just went down into the dungeon to check and see if we can get more blaze rods and whatnot. But uh, I'm checking his inventory. He's coming back out. He doesn't have anything on him. Chris and Noob does have two of the wolves on him. I think he may just be getting it to a secure location though. 
And since Etho took out so much of their parkour to begin with, they're really forced to have to use the potions because they cannot place blocks. Slauncher's gonna do this one block at a time, it looks like, if he can. It may be necessary. Yeah. That's what he's talking about mainly in there. He's like, I don't care if I have to suicide run it. I will make progress on this. We Stone need to make progress. I mean, two more blocks and he'll be able to wall himself in and then yep. get to the next pot. And if he takes a bed down with him, he can sort of walk his bed up and down to each section. Yeah, that's what it takes. Night. I mean, even if it's just one or two blocks, if you've made progress, you got your bed in a good position, that's all it takes. Yeah, Chris is running back as well uh, with two of the wolves. Now, they've killed Seth over there. They definitely know that what they've done. I mean, they've spotted this. They may look to do the same thing. Wait, was, Seth, shot out. was Seth still on top of the victory monument? He was shot all no, the way from there? Okay. No, he was over here with Cilantro, and when he got was killed, he's already right back. Okay. Cilantro making the push. Made it down the second set of arrows, or letters this time. I think Seth may be trying to help him by doing the same thing. Yeah, he's... he's oh, oh, I think uh, Chris might be through. trying to... Yeah, he does have some TAT on him. He's going to try to take out this tower. Using the water from this oh. uh, lake. Go in, Seth. He go has in. 10 pieces of TNT. Ew. So close. But, they, but he was able to get another one down. Yeah, they're just going to tag team suicide push to try to get through this. Uh, oh. They're already locked onto that spot, though. All they need is just Oh, chaos one. cannon. Oh, 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 wall yourself in. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in. You can wall, you can wall. Okay, so oh, Sil has made it to that shot. If, if Seth can bring a bed down, or... He just icarus Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, who just icarus I did not realize he just icarus Um, It was Chris the Noob. That's smart. They have placed... Yeah, I expected to see that over with... Uh, oh, wow. Let's go, Chris. Side. So they use the Icarus, PME has used the Icarus, they have actually placed two wool. They're doing the same thing. If it comes down to it, we've got two. That's smooth. My body that, is happy right now. That was smooth. I got that on video too, and I'm very happy. That would be a beautiful thing. Yeah, that was really nicely done. These are professional Minecraft engineers. <laughs> they are, they're earning that title. I've been really impressed with them so far. This is great. Okay, so back to... He wow. is in. Now the thing is, though, is that uh, Blame Disco does happen to have still uh, a good amount of TNT, I think, on Etho. If they were to work to get that back out, that could really put the hurt on them. All right, Solando is in a position where he doesn't have a bow, but he does have a sta over a stack of arrows. He's got to be able to drop down this last... Ooh, pause is, uh, finally oh, he's helping break it. oh, there we go, finally. Alright, he's trying Good. to break him. There's not two people up there anymore. Cilantro actually has a shot. Why, why, why is being shot? Yeah, this is their moment. He's Still may be nice. waiting for supplies to get to him, because if they can get a bed down here before the sun comes up, it can give them a lot more tries. Which probably comes down to Seth. Let's see what Seth has. Seth there goes Sil. Have much of anything. Still making a run. Breaking that spawner. Good job. Only one zombie to deal with. Actually, it might be Paws and Seth trying to run it. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. I really wish Cilantro had a bed. Yep. You know his heart's got to be going about a million miles an hour. And oh, I, he's got to be so sick of me. He does kinda, have some supplies in here, I wonder. I kind of feel like telling them that it's only been 15 minutes since there was said it was an hour, <laughs> the longest 15 minutes of their <laughs> life. I was so tempted. Bread, got some good supplies in there. Yeah, bread, speed, and instant health in here. Now, the speed could be really useful right now. And actually, the instant health. But this is the longest run of the segment. Yep. Cilantro's covering it up. Not going to be an easy target now. Have a spot to come back and regen. Wow. Yeah, they can get someone down there with a bed. He does have zombie waiting for him. And they are really putting pressure on him. Looks like Gone has moved down to the nether. Ooh, to the nether rack again to try to shoot from down here. Yeah, I don't see any progress on PME's side for the blue wool. 
Etho is left to his own devices. And right now he is not focusing on Gone, and it'll be a really hard hit to even get him where he's at. Cilantro, go, go, go. Pause is taking out Y repeatedly. I think he's getting a little happier now. Oh! Cilantro oh. splat again. Y is getting knocked back completely. Sil may have an opportunity here. Where is Gone? Sil just bit it. At the very last drop for the ladders, he was about uh. to be able to move in and make another push, and he died before the... Well, there's still one more ladder before he gets to the wool room. Interesting. They do not have... They have been cannoned over here. They do not have the ladder up to the wool room. He will have to make his way with blocks, etc. Yeah, but he may be able to pass... Uh, can you pass around that fire? Mm. Well, he still have to get up there from the, that ladder. It only has the tip top ladder up there. This is where the diagonal cannon was coming in and chipping yeah, away at the front. Yeah, trying to get Etho. It took out. Yeah, it did take out some ladders. Now, Etho they is still sticking down here that. to make sure that. Making sure that the blue wool is unrun. And pause is finally. Uh, now that PME yeah. is out of armor. The uh, scales are a little more shifted here. Yeah, remember, Demon Makes had a couple pieces of diamond, but he's he's got nothing, or he's given it up for someone to make the run. It may have broken, Seth actually. Link That's is right. making a push. He's running the ladders. Of actually, no, Chris the Noob does have two pieces of diamond armor on him. They may be the pieces from... So much uh, place, uh, Seth placed a bed. Did Seth make Sahaja. it to the bed? Yes, yeah, did he get into it in time? Because it is night time, no, it's daytime right shot. now. Oh. I, I hope Seth did, but Cilantro was shot right at the foot of the bed. He's coming down, he's coming down. I think they're both going to wait until their health. Cilantro's trying to sleep. Did see him hit the bed. Gonna exchange some goods. If they were able to get that bed, I think they were, because it was still that dusk moment. If they could get that bed, this is this is critical progress. Etho says I gave them all to them. That's right. All right. Sills made it down to the next level. I don't know if they're sharing beds or not. Seth has come down as well. I think they both slept. That would this be excellent if that's the case. The, it would, because, I mean, half of the fight of what they're having to run, it would be over at that point. Now, one nice thing about daytime is it does reduce the number of mobs that spawn on the edge. But there's a zombie here. Which is likely fall off before it actually engages them anyway. Pause so having still has almost off. nothing. Oh! I was just going to say, Pause is going to have to back off, and then Y got the shot in perfectly, so he finally gets revenge. Chris the Noob is in diamond chest and booties with iron head and legs. And the uh, they're all enchanted, I think. Yeah, uh, three of them have protection one, and one of them has projectile protection one. All useful for what he's about to do. Right, and regen... One regen potion. He is looking to make his push. Seth Bling hit. Etho shot. Alright, they have three Cilantro. three minute fire resistance potions. Seth Bling and Cilantro must not have been able to sleep. It must have been just too late. They are having to run from the top. Now, if Chris loses this armor, um, PME is probably going to be in trouble. Because I think that uh, Blame Disco should probably be able to force this over time. But well, again, there's only 40 minutes yeah. left. so They have also been running this armorless. And there'll be another night in a few minutes. They'll have a chance. The bed is placed. Even though they weren't able to sleep in at that time, the bed is placed. And they're gonna still trying to make, make a push. Chris is at the base of the parkour section. He has taken his potion and has one more on him. Let's see if he gets noticed. 
Well, you know what? If Chris loses that armor, they're gonna have to strip down Gon. Yeah. He has his armor is definitely taking a, a beating, but at least it's iron. He's in a position that's pretty much the last of what they have. Slancho and Seth hanging out, letting them just shoot. They're about to make another push. It looks like. Oh, you thought just died. Yep. Gone getting domination. And man, they're pelting Cilantro's down. Seth is making a run down the ladders. He's moving back and forth, trying to avoid it. Ah, fall damage. Took too many hits on the way down, and of course there's a bunch of uh, ladders missing there. Yeah, Chris has made it to the other side of the wall. He's only grabbing three this time. Oh, they're having to be conservative. He's already in the lava. I don't think he's been noticed or Etho is pinned down. Wait, Etho, see them. It's going to be hard to kill him. He's in diamond armor. And he's making sure to stay away from the edges. Away from the edge this time. Oh, the arrows are coming Now, in. I think he does have a knockback bow. Oh. Ooh, just keep missing him. He's gonna be at the spot, the halfway spot, to sit and rest. Does he still have a regen po- I can't open his inventory. Yeah, he still has a regen potion. He does. Now he only has a three minute fire resist- Oh, maybe it's an eight. Maybe he upgraded it. He just took the other one. Okay. He's trying to weigh his- I mean, so close. He's trying to weigh his, his options. This- this is right here. Now his a critical moment. His only way up is actually towards the back, I think. So that may be their best bet to knock him off. And oh. he's out. Yeah. He's out, he's out, he's out. He they still may, hasn't placed. They may be doing their victory run unless... Uh, yeah, Getting it's shot. unlikely he'll be able to kill him in this water. Oh, play some wall. Place, place. Did he place? I guess he did, I see yeah. it. It's so close to the ice. So Chris is making his way out. You know, PME are absolutely ecstatic right now. It up oh, cilantro. Cilantro is help is, is over here to shoot. He has come out and he's looking to shoot. They have passed the word over that he's made it out. Seth Bling is still trying to run it, hitting the ground too hard. He placed a second wall, so he only has one on him. Getting through to, k to kill him. I mean, your best bet is to be able to knock him off with yeah. this armor. This is the epic push they said they were going to take. Diamond armor is powerful. Oh, Seth Bling being taken out. So Seth Bling is repeatedly trying to run that. If they had been able to save at that bed, that would have made a whole heap of difference. This is the only one they have to place. He may go all the way and just run through. He's got the armor. Yeah, I don't know if they have Ender Pearls or they're gonna do their Icarus Cannon again because they don't have a way yeah. up there at the moment. I'm assuming he's gonna Icarus. It's set up. This has been an absolutely phenomenal race. Yep, there's the TNT. Yep. He had this on him when he went in. I noticed he had a couple of TNT. There it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fail. Okay, let's try it again. Watch him fly off the edge, <laughs> losing it. And there it is. Ah, uh, yeah. This time, he's up, he's up, he's up. Oh, he made it. And it's over. Explosive finish. Minecraft engineers have beat Blame Disco and move on. To One hour, side. 24 minutes, and 58 seconds. Quarterfinals. Oh, wow. That uh, was amazing. Lots of deaths on, well, both sides, but... Oh. 
Applause died 63 times, Cilantro 53, Etho 22, oh. and Seth Bling 40. But look at the love. Paz was able to get 31 kills off at the end. Once yeah, and almost all of those were at the end. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at these stats. That, that's it. That's the first round of Qualifier B match, or first match of Qualifier B round. This is phenomenal. I hope to see a lot of really fantastic matches on this. I assume we're probably going to hop on down to uh, Lobby? Uh, or drag people up. I'm not sure what Dyer wants. It's usually a little cleaner to drag people up, but... Hey, yeah. Um, hey. Yeah, I was hey. just uh, confirming something for them. Um, but yes, uh, it's going to be Seth, and it's going to be Gone52, whenever we're ready. I'm ready. Ready. All right. Ooh. Hey, Seth. <coughs> oh, we got to unmute that. Wow. Oh, yeah, I can do that. All right. Got it. Hey, guys. Hello. Greetings. Hey. Phenomenal match. Just wow. Yeah, yeah congratulations, was... guys. That was a little too long to my liking. That was <laughs> amazingly intense. There were, like, maybe 200 deaths in total during the entire game. Wow. I, uh... I would say a good 25% of that would be pause. I don't feel bad. I, I don't feel bad losing that match. Oh yeah, you you should not at all. Not no. at all. And no one should rage at all for either one of these teams. You guys, you earned every every wool, every lick of this. Yeah, that was a boxing match basically. You guys were just trading blow for blow. Yeah. Wow. Ugh. The run on uh, the blue wool was um, for. PME was stopped, what, four or five times by... That was our last chance. Yeah. yeah. That was our last armor and our last potion. Well, yeah. going had armor, we were debating if he was going to get stripped down the next time if you guys died again. It was fully enchanted armor, too, so you're only doing half a heart of damage each hit on him. Yeah. So we made sure he was yeah. getting out. Yeah, I mean, that's that was our plan, too. If we didn't get that Ender Pearl, the, the very first run was just to get as good of armor as we could and enchant it. Unfortunately, you guys blew up all our supplies to make armor, pretty much. Uh, so that wouldn't have worked out too oh, well. So, so did you Ender Pearl across the Parkour course? No, I just got here yeah. at the very beginning of the match. Because I, I thought you just ran it in one, uh, in one take. I did? I yeah, hoping... that, that was beautiful. Thank you. I was hoping you would I... die. I practiced that so much. <laughs> That's what Dude was saying was, oh, okay, he has definitely spent some time yeah. practicing this because you just, I mean, you, you just, just blitzed it. That. Yeah, yeah, I mean, our our general plan was to actually, I mean, blitz this, blitz the uh, the second wool dungeon with the feather falling boots, um, and we figured, you know, if we fail at either one, we'll just go grab armor. Well, and you're considering the uh, yellow, the second one. Yeah, sorry, the uh, PV the PVP dungeon. Um, Splits that with Threaderfall boots, and if we fail that, go get armor and do it with armor, and we'll probably be able to force it through. But really, did not expect every single one of our chests to be and chests and uh, well, not okay, not every single chest, but lots of supply denial and lots yeah. of effective PvP. Yeah, we could hear it actually. Uh, it was it was actually interesting to listen to you guys because I could hear it in basically all your voices when we realized, oh, that's gone too. Oh crap. Yeah, uh, it was just like a, a sudden moment of realization, realization that you had to switch from the fast game to the long game. Honestly, I I thought that if I thought that might be a possibility, but I thought that if they spent enough guys trying to blow up our all our supplies, that we would actually be able to force through the rush because they wouldn't have enough guys. Yeah, uh, stopping that. That was but, actually our major worry. That was my job to completely stop you guys from rushing, but well, apparently I missed one of you guys and you guys just went to third. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of snuck through, I guess, but um, it didn't matter because we couldn't get that second uh, PvP dungeon. That I mean, that that was, yeah. I just I really didn't plan for the possibility that both our supplies would get taken out and we would fail the first rush. I just didn't think that would happen. Honestly, Seth, there was a moment. There were so many moments, but there was a moment when Bolt, when you brought down that bed, and, and Dude had been like, if they got a bed, if they get a bed, if they get a bed, and we were looking at the sky and thinking, oh, oh, are they gonna be able to sleep? And obviously you couldn't because you, you, you respond from above. It was but literally we seconds so too late. It was, yeah, it had to be seconds. It was like, 
Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, it wasn't about uh, day versus night. It was about there were mobs nearby. Ah, that's what wouldn't mm. let you, because we thought for sure you'd yeah. be able to sleep, and that would have made such that. a difference. Half the yeah. half the difficulty of getting to that spot was gone. I always hated that change. Jab. Yeah, I think one more night we might have had a good shot <laughs> at getting that. Uh, at just forcing you guys through. Put a bed on that in the attention. zombies, please. Hmm? Oh, you put a bed in here. Dang. Yeah, we had we had a bed in there. We had a bed. Uh, where was it? I guess it must have been right. No, no, no hold on. I'm confused. It was like uh, it was like right before the last ladder drop. We yeah. had uh, we had a bed there. Um, but this bed we placed after it was daytime, a long after it was daytime. But well, if we could have been res uh... respawning here, we would have had I think an okay shot at being able to get. Yeah, I was running out of those arrows really fast. And you uh, did, you have a kill death ratio of 62 to 1. <laughs> you didn't consider that. the uh, door method? Wow. Um, yeah, we considered it, but when you are when you have no armor, it's just not honestly that useful because you have to set a door like every three blocks. You can always do it every block. Yeah. Well, not, not that particular <laughs> block, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we talked about it in our, in our chat a lot, but uh, uh, it, we just never thought it would be... Actually viable without oh, armor. Gosh. You need a lot of wood anyway. And this map we have, is not we actually very. actually have plenty of wood. If you want to come look at our supply chest, uh, it's right over here. Okay, at one point you were a lumberjack. You had a, um, you had just the axe pulled out or clearing now, wood and growing wood. One thing I thought was interesting is that when your supplies were destroyed, you ended up sort of putting them in the same place where the destroyed stuff was, and I thought that was a little potentially worrisome because then your supplies could get rained on again. Sorry, where? I mean, uh, this isn't where the supplies were, anything was destroyed, right here. The house down here? Oh, uh, what do we put there? I, I wasn't... Uh, maybe I'm... There's actually still some supplies here. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, by default, that was our sort of base of operations, but really, we weren't planning on storing up that many supplies. Not until we got iron, anyway. Oh! I was kind of surprised you guys didn't actually counterfire. Like, that was what Dutroy mentioned, that we... Kind of surprised you guys didn't counterfire with cannon fire uh, on their key uh, supply location. Like, Etho the had on their all side of our TNT. And I'm not That's what exaggerating. I Literally all of our TNT was down at the bottom. And... But used to good effect. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, this... This dungeon down here is the most unfair dungeon that has ever dungeoned mm -hmm. a, a dungeon. Figure that out. <laughs> that has ever done. It's... <laughs> you you knock out the ice, and I expect to see this in every match from now on. You just knock out the ice, and uh, and it's it's you know close to unrunnable. It forces them to do the lava. It looked like you guys were out of torches because cilantro just had nothing to put down for yep. the PVP, but yep. our PVE dungeon. But there were. You yeah, I I noticed see. that towards the end of the match. Yeah, that one box that survived. Yeah. Just didn't see it earlier. It was, uh, it was kind of funny, actually, because uh, Cilantro's job actually got a little bit easier once the sun went down, because then there was more dark spots for it to spawn, uh, for the monsters to spawn, versus on just in that tunnel where he was trying to run the, the dungeon. Right. Well, yeah, Cilantro was aching for for torches earlier, and we just didn't realize that we had it, had them there, and uh, it just... I was, was at, at various points going to go for, for wood to actually try and make some, but uh, didn't end up happening. Any thoughts of what you do differently? I think you may have had an opportunity to hold off yellow as well. Uh, there was a time when when Etho got, uh, I think it was, who was running? I think it was Demon who was running uh, yellow. He killed him the first time, and that may have been a potential point to keep stuff down. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna see anyone mining iron or diamonds on this map ever again. To be honest, like yeah, that was uh, the last resort. Or very there's going to be a lot of it. PvP fighting over those cannons, at the very least. It, it, it's it's really strong, and if you do that in combination, I mean, if we had destroyed your iron and diamond and destroyed your ice blocks, yeah, what are you going to do, destroyed. right? <laughs> um, of course... would hit the brewing supplies, that would have been game over. Yeah, I think we may start to see uh, these sort of like scrappy fights. I think the, I think the armor is, is just not going to be there anymore in future matches. And, uh, wow. and we're going to start to see lots of scrappy fights over stuff like the PvP dungeon. You guys were, I mean, you were conquering things completely commando from for most of the match. You guys had nothing. I saw We saw you and Etho sharing up some armor down there in the little hidey hole to try to defend. And then there's just nothing. Nothing to 
to run with, and that that's heartbreaking. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, that was all the leather that we had, I think, was down there. My um, question is, did Syl actually finish the PvE wool? Yes. Syl finished it, yep. We had red wool and, and light blue wool back here. How do you do that with no armor? He, he is a badass. He died Pro. three Pro. times yeah. to do it, but he did no, it. No, yeah. seriously, Syl is, Syl is probably one of the world's best people at, uh, at PvE. It was so. phenomenal. He was he was working it like unbelievable, guys. He, it, it was great. He he worked it, and he has to be so sick of seeing mobs in his face right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Before I forget about it, I'd like to give a shout out to Lax, who designed our cannon that destroyed pretty much everything on the map. And um, yeah, just for being an awesome oh. guy. And the uh, the Icarus. That and the cannon um, below the house. Did you get to see that at all? I didn't see the one. Uh, might have. I'm not sure anymore. If so many cannons. If Demon wouldn't have blown up that cannon, you know, on his own, he would have been able uh -huh. to hit your cannons chest, your house, your brewing supplies, your ladders on first wall, the parkour on third wall, and your flame bow. Yeah, we did see it fire. I think I have a couple shots of it. On Is our my flame bow still there? Yeah. Never. It's still there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, there's no way we would have made it down to that, to be honest. The Icarus was a beautiful thing, although uh, a little bit of a misfire there at uh, one point. Mm -hmm. Chris glitched out. <clears throat> uh, a glitch, okay, okay. But <laughs> nobody was killed and it wasn't destroyed, so there you go. And it was a good thing because you guys had hardly any TNT left at the point that you were doing that. Yeah, Demon used all the TNT trying to blow up Etho in his little hidey hole. Yeah, that dead eye <laughs> cannon we saw. Yeah, Chris is not a noob. I think Etho might have a word or two to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, a lot of a lot of pressure, a lot of banter back and forth between the teams. You know, always kind of uh, fun to see who gets snarky. Yeah, uh, I like how you guys kept asking what you know how much time is left because I'm sure it felt like it was about two hours, even though it was uh, yeah. yeah significantly less. Sure. Uh, and we you know we had the we had in mind, you know, what we would have to do if if it came to that. Uh, maybe build a TNT cannon to try and, you know, with, with maybe Ethos TNT or something to try and get rid of your stuff on your monument right before the two minute mark, two hour mark, whatever. Yeah, we saw you build this beautiful enclosed protected ladder all the way up. We weren't sure if you guys were planning on just placing your will in advance or being there to try to do damage to theirs or what. Yeah, I mean, the rationale for that is if we did get the third wall and they realized it and they were applying PvP pressure to us, we might never actually get up. Yeah, it's just such an open area here. Yeah, so, you can lock down the victory one pretty well if you get on top of it. But they're not. Well, unless you use an interpol. <laughs> yeah, we lost our interpol when Chris died in the lava. Well, I mean, you must have had another Ender Pearl to get up here, right? No, we Icarus. Yeah. Oh, really? That's what. I see. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It was an awesome finish because they did it not once but through. twice. They tested it actually, which I was impressed with. They actually took time <laughs> to test it. That's cool. Yeah, so it was it was a really good match. All in all, uh, I know a lot of people. Uh, obviously, you guys have a lot of fans out there are going to be disappointed that you're not moving on to the quarterfinals. But I hope you had a good time and getting to practice and, and participate along the way. Yeah, no, uh, definitely had a lot of fun. Definitely, well, it's definitely spent a lot of time practicing. <laughs> but uh, I did catch you comment that uh, four. I, I saw your little uh, your interview earlier this afternoon. Four and a half hours to go, and I'm I'm a bit nervous. And uh, and you know, with with good reason. PME, they were they were a good team too. To be honest, the only thing I was nervous about was screwing up at the parkour at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that was I can that. believe that. That was it. Like, uh, I mean, a lot of our strategy kind of rested on that. I, I thought we might have a chance of getting locked out there if we didn't make it the first time. Uh, so oh that God, was... that's so much fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta be honest, I'm not, a, I'm not really a big fan of this element in the map, just because with the lava down below and the, the inability to place blocks, it, it's... Uh, it's kind of contrary to the to the spirit of Race to the Wall. Like you, you can't use the full range of Minecraft techniques. In fact, you can use very little. And uh, and it's just kind of really random. Like if you if you do fall in the lava, it, like if you have a 50/50 chance of falling in the lava or not, like that's kind of a 
I don't. I just. I, I don't like the the random elements and how you can't control that randomness really. There's always the multiplayer run derp. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, parkour has always made people shake their fists at the makers. I know Michael yeah. Fleece was that way too in the last one. I was like, no, why you parkour? Who's gonna have to do it? Yeah, I was actually talking about the Icarus. <laughs> Yeah, the parkour, when I first saw that on this map, I was like, that is kind of evil. Yeah. I, I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see some, some matches get locked out with uh, neither team able to complete this dungeon. Oh, we do have rules for that. Right. We had tricks and bypasses for this wolf to get across without parkouring or stepping in lava, but then Lyx <laughs> decided to be a good person and tell Gramps, so he fixed it. The reason why the parkour is in one block was because you could drop water over the side, right? And water all the way across. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So the obsidian obsidianizing is is vastly reduced in its options. One thing I also noticed was that you guys tunneled up from the initial sort of iron gold supply area to build your cannon directly underneath the uh, diamond block section. And then sort of scoot it around through the lava right down here, kind of. Yep. We saw that early in the map and we knew we were gonna use it. It was just a quicker way to get to from the iron to the diamond. Yeah, we weren't even planning on getting iron or diamonds. <laughs> unless it unless we failed the, the rush at the second or the PvP dungeon. Which ended up happening. And we ended up not getting the iron or diamond. I both admit my favorite part of the map was when I got the double kill with the cannon on top of the mountain. Yeah, that was Don. well done. Well done. You you had like a sniper's dream, man. You know it. You know you had just so much fun. You and, and Demon Mix and Chris. I mean, just standing in the positions that you were able to go and just do nothing but pure snipe the whole time. That was you, you, that was just beautiful. We knew you had to be enjoying that. Yeah, I did. I actually had a, at one point I had a uh, power 2 punch 1 bow. That was my favorite part. I love that bow God, so much. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually do that and not quite catch the lip if you're not, if you don't do it right. Yeah. I, I, I saw that on the practices. Um, <clears throat> PME people uh, <laughs> had plenty of testing of the plugin and they definitely screwed up their Icarus a few times, so I kind of watched with one eye closed, wondering if we were going to see uh, professional Minecrafters or uh, merely proficient ones. <laughs> Woohoo! Easy peasy. <laughs> How do you not die with that? We only put 17 they, in there. That, and they used the, uh, the blast protection pants or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. And you block, I assume. We don't even yeah. have to with the blast protection. Yeah, the blast protection is pretty, pretty good. Alright, well, uh, poor Wise is like, wait, hey, hey, we were, we're, we're always professional once a real match. It, we were, uh, we did play some real scrimmages, but there was obviously a lightheartedness to it. It wasn't uh, anything serious. There was, however, difference. Oh, there goes Dyer for another ride. Yeah. So the question is, is there going to be a match longer in ours in the next couple of days? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm worried I think there's going to be more to find out. Yeah, I think there's going to be a two-hour match at least. Like eight two-hour matches in a row. And on Saturday, there's actually three matches, and if they're all this long... Yes. I don't know, not every team is as skilled with bows as PME, so hey, that hey, was Seth, a big part of the lockdown. You want to get back into commentating? Because if it's going to be two-hour <laughs> matches, we might need to... Need an extra no reply. Because <laughs> you it's only have to answer. play for, four, or for two hours. Well, actually, it's not true. You oh my god, for... do you know how much I practice? I, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as soon as you said that, it's like, oh, okay, never mind. We know that's not true. The practice is incredible. People have no idea how many hours teams put in, unless you're on a team. Oh, and, and you dissect the map, like, block by block almost, to yes. make note of where everything is. Know your positions, all that good stuff. Yeah, the trickiest part was getting Chris and Will to work together well enough to actually destroy both the diamond and the iron. Hmm. It would come to a point where they would both die to one person because they were both doing, like, crafting something. Yeah, yeah I mean, we weren't oh, focusing yeah. much on PvP at the beginning. We were rushing off to our various posts. But, uh... 
There was one moment too with uh, Blame Disco when Paws got a shot off and Etho got in the way, I'm sure. <laughs> got uh, team kill, which, you know, it, it happens. You, you're bobbing and weaving and you just get nailed. Yeah, I almost, um, I almost shot Will off with all, with all the diamond ones. This game. He almost stepped in front of me because um, Ether shot me backwards a little bit, or somebody shot me backwards a little bit. And he ran right next to me. That would have been awful. So oh, many things that had just gone slightly different would have swayed it either way. And uh, both teams really, I mean, you guys just had so many things thrown up and lockdowns and opposition. It was so yeah, well too. played. Yeah, especially if that was your last that your last set of armor, man. That just like that like breaks my heart. <laughs> we were searching for armor for so long, and then about thirty minutes later, we somebody asked Demon if he has armor, and it says he has like half diamond. We're like, what? <laughs> just yelling at him. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks guys for playing, and uh, congratulations to PME and Sardis. You know, Sardis, see Blaine Disco get knocked out uh, just in the second round. Sorry about that, Seth. Yeah, it's okay. It's a good match. Mm -hmm. and congrats and, uh, to PME, for sure. Yeah, and uh, thanks guys for playing, and uh, thanks everyone for watching. I think that's going to do it for me streaming-wise for the night. I'll let you guys. Oh yeah, that that's it for me streaming-wise. <laughs> there's, there's editing to do, and there's recording to do, and that, that's it. Alright, well, uh, I think that's it, unless you guys want to have anything else to add. Gone52 or Seth? Good, good game. Yeah, good game. All right, guys. Well, you guys all, uh, you know, rest it up or rest easy, I guess, now, Seth, because you guys don't have to practice anymore, at least. Yeah. And uh, I guess we'll call it a night. Thanks, everyone, for watching. It hurts. Bye. Right. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later, I will see everybody later. I'm going and to I'm pass out and go to sleep because I have stuff to do tomorrow. So.